Hey everyone, my name is Jordi Adumi, and today I am wearing a beanie. It is very cold, but more importantly, today I'm talking about the Warp Launch Giveaway, which is really exciting. So if y'all have been keeping up to date with the terminals coming onto Windows, or if you've ever used Warp on Mac, very exciting time. There is now Warp on Windows, and they're doing a giveaway. How amazing. Um, you can see here the big thing that I'm hoping I can win by joining this giveaway is this custom Falcon desktop. I don't know what that is, but I do know the components in it look insane. And so they're giving away a bunch of cool stuff. I really am hopeful that I could potentially win that. I'm not going to, but that's okay. We're still going to have fun trying Warp um, on Windows. If you watch my other videos, you know that I love my terminal setup. I love the Windows terminal. I think is a fantastic terminal. It's open source. It's free. It's great. Uh, you can see all the good stuff that I've done in different videos with these different shell themes using on my posh, which I love. Um, here's my CMD setup, here's my Ubuntu setup, and here's my PowerShell setup. The Lakers, I guess, uh, do not play because usually I have something show up there. Point is, I do love Windows Terminal, but today we're going to be checking out Warp. And um, I'm pretty excited about this giveaway. And so all you have to do to join, if you're interested, is use Warp on Windows. So that's all you have to do is you use Warp on Windows from February 27th through March 5th of 2025 um, and then there are you know different ways to get different referrals whatever realistically there's tons of people joining odds of winning are going to be really low um, but let's see you can make a custom theme and post it in the discord that gets you an extra entry you can create a video i guess i'm creating a video technically maybe i could get 10 entries i don't really know if i'm going to end up tagging them in this or not really what i'm going for is just the using warp so here you can see if you use warp you will be entered so i guess you get one entry um, but let's go ahead and let's actually check out a little bit more about what they're giving away. They're giving away all this stuff. All I really care about, though, is this first one, right, that that PC. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out. I've opened up a few things here, um, and this is it, right? This is Warp on Windows, launch week giveaway. Very exciting. Um, you can see here, we took the best PC builder, souped a machine up with the best hardware, and are ready to deliver it to your door. Hopefully it's my door. The machine is custom designed and one of a kind. Wonderful. Uh, here's really cool. Check this out. What's in the box? So the processor, we're talking AMD Ryzen 7. It's got eight cores, 16 uh, threads. Um, you can see here some specs. I went ahead and found it. This is about a $500 CPU. Uh, not a not a hardware expert, but you can tell this is you know probably a joy to game with. Um, and as well, of course, as the 5090, which if you've not been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard lots about the 5090. Uh, here's Tom's. A review of it but the big thing is where's the price it's somewhere in here yeah there you go look at this two thousand dollar price tag as i'm sure you all are well aware so this machine is pretty awesome uh, and i guess it's gonna look like this i think i also saw these uh memory modules we're talking about ddr5 32 gigs um dual channel really awesome rgb probably looks really sick uh so that's pretty exciting uh, and then, of course, you know, you got some good storage, M.2 SSDs, two terabytes. So anyways, winning this machine, you know, worth many thousands of dollars would be very, very cool. Uh, but let's just go ahead and actually get to it and check out Warp. More importantly, I want to know what Warp is like. I've used Warp on my Mac. Um, of course, like I said, I'm a huge fan of the Windows Terminal. It's going to take a lot for me to move away from an open source free project like Windows Terminal. Um, but let's jump into it. Uh, so here we go, download for Windows. So I'm just going to go ahead and click download. You're about to get work. Your download will start automatically. Here we go. This is a really cool animation. I will say really good job. Uh, the marketing team has done a great job. I mean, even having a giveaway, I think, is fantastic. We're going to go ahead and open this file. We're going to set this up. Install for me. That's fine. Uh, just so you all can see what's going on here. We're going to click next. Create a desktop shortcut. No, thank you. I'm not a desktop user. Don't like that. Next, install. Boom. So we're going to go ahead and install it. See how fast this is. Drum roll, please. And here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and launch Warp. Let's get it started. So I'm assuming, you know, something I noticed on my Mac and something I don't like about Warp is the fact that you have to have an account to get started. So if I recall correctly, in order to actually start using the terminal, you need to have a user account registered with Warp. And it makes sense. Uh, it's a startup and they're trying to make money. You can tell there's a pro account. So actually something I didn't really talk about Let's go into here. Here you go. One of the things you can win is actually an annual subscription. Excuse me. Uh, an annual subscription to Warp Pro. So I don't know how much Warp Pro is, but you can get a free one year. Oh, there you go. It's $200. That's a lot of money. Um, 
for a terminal, right? Which should be something, in, in my opinion, that's sort of baked into the operating system. And of course, you know, Windows Terminal again is great. So that's your free option. So maybe there's enough with the AI and, and, and the cool stuff that they're offering. There might be enough here. All right, look at that. Here it is. Uh, this is Warp right there. Boom. Nice icon. Looks cool. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, welcome to Warp. So I will say, I do not know much about Warp. Maybe I'll do another video comparing Warp and Windows Terminal, do a deep dive. Um, you know, it looks like you can create these custom themes and you know I love my custom themes. So we will go through all this. I'll do a lot more research, but I did want to just sort of chat a little bit about my first impressions with Warp. Um, of course, I'd love to win the giveaway, but realistically, this is kind of going to be more of like my first impressions. Something I really like is that it says sign up here. So actually, you know, let me move this around. I realize my my head's going to be in the way here. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Let's see if I can move it to the bottom right corner. Uh, I don't have that one ready. That's okay. We're just going to move this out of the way here. Here you can see it says sign up right there. Uh, and I do like that you don't have to sign up. Let me go ahead and just snap this full, full size here. Um, you don't have to sign up, which is great. I think that's really awesome. Uh, there's this thing called agent mode, which I'm not entirely sure. Try typing natural language instead of a command. You know, I'm not a huge fan of AI and all of these different products, but this is kind of cool. So here it says the first thing, right? Create a snake game in Python from scratch. Have agent mode walk you through creating a snake game from end to end. I don't know if I would necessarily choose this to do uh, in my terminal. This is pretty interesting. Oh, and shout out to Power Toys. Love that. Explore Git history in Power Toys. Work with agent mode to understand recent changes to a Git repository. So I do have Power Toys uh, on this ma machine. I've cloned it before. Let's just go ahead and click this and see what happens. I knew. Okay. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if other folks would have different um, recommendations here. So it actually knew that in my, even in my dev drive that I have set up, it knew that I had Power Toys uh, and it can actually check my uh, Git history. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is taking quite a long time, I will say. You know, I would probably just do Git log, uh, you know, and see what I was doing. This is taking quite a long time. Um, don't love that. While this is thinking, let's just start a new tab. Something else I will note I will note is that I don't see my, oh my posh goodness. So I have PowerShell here. Let's go ahead and open up um, Ubuntu, which I've got Ubuntu in here as well. Mm. Okay, there's command palette, there's command search, there's agent mode. I feel like I'm really missing something big here. I'm not seeing much. Uh, and then let me go ahead and open, mm, do they not have CMD? Huh, they might not support uh, command prompt. Let's not say that definitively because I don't know. Um, but let's just like do something normal, like LS. Okay, so that's cool. I like this a lot. This is very cool. A, uh, auto expand aliases. And so you'll notice like PowerShell has a lot of really good convenient things. Like when you do LS, you expect your directory to list the items. But really what's happening is this get child item here. This get child item is what's being called because that's the PowerShell way. Uh, and it calls it out here. And it lets you know, like if you were to actually just type in, you know, get, uh, get, whack child item that's cool too that's smart uh whoa all right then i can get the same thing that's kind of cool um again i really like my terminal setup like i love having my different segments and i talk a lot about that in different videos and you can see for each of my different profiles that i use i have these different segments so not having that out of the box seems a little strange um but okay so we have this let's see if this is finally finished the user wants me to explore the Git history of a project located in Pride Summary. First, I need to change directory to that location and then examine the Git history. I'll use the PowerShell commands to do this since the user is on Windows and using PowerShell. Okay, um, sure. I mean, that makes sense. So we're gonna, first we're gonna, oof, okay. So first we're gonna change directories into, mm -hmm. I successfully changed the PowerToys directory. Oh God. Uh, now I need to check if this, there was a bit of a flash there. I don't know if y'all saw that. Now I need to check if this is a Git repository and explores history. First, let's check if we're in a Git repository. All right, Git status. I mean, this is cool. Um, I. That's cool. I like this last part. Oh, no, just kidding. Mm, sorry, it's doing lots of things all at once. And so this is just live in real time. It's a little confusing. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, you know, I am, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the agent so much. I think maybe it's something that takes some getting used to. I'm definitely not knocking it. I'm very excited that uh, Warp is on Windows. It's incredibly cool. Um, the, nothing but positive things to say about it coming to Windows. And um, I think that there's a world where this could get really cool. 
But now look, this thing is running away from me and I haven't even touched it in like, I don't know how long, but like, it's just like going on, it's doing its own thing now. I don't remember ever saying like, go ahead and do all the things that you ever want to do. <laughs> I think I clicked enter a couple times at first. It seemed, you know, on these first ones, let's go up to the top. On these first few, it was like, click enter and it will run the command. And now it's just sort of running away with it. Um, I don't really want my terminal to do this, at least yet. Maybe I have to get very comfortable. So maybe it's just, you know, a question of getting uncomfortable uh, in, in getting into that. But I don't love this. It is cool that they have all these different options. So here you can see there's different options, excuse me, um, for for what you can actually use as your underlying model. Um, gosh, you know, backspace to exit, ask a natural language, right? Yeah, let's go clear. It's a little bit strange. It is a little bit strange. And you can always scroll up and see what you've been typing in. It just feels so unnatural compared to like this to me, where this just feels like the terminal. And this is very fast too, right? Um, it'd be really interesting, I think, to do a speed test between the two to see what is faster. But this is very specific. And and I kind of wonder, you know, not knowing warp all that much, I will be playing around with it a lot. I'll do a, I'll do a deeper dive into how to make it cool. I think there's probably lots of things I can do. But I do wonder is it even possible to get oh my posh working well it seems like they have like a lot of control over the structure of warp um if you know warp well and you have ideas on what i should be doing how i should get to know how to use it how the community should get to know how to use it please leave uh comments uh, i think that'd be really really interesting um for us all to learn but my first thoughts are it's kind of really confusing for me personally as someone who's used a terminal for a long time who expects it just to work in a certain way um it feels really difficult and i actually just tried ghosty on my mac and love it it's super fast and my oh my posh themes on my macbook just all came with ghosty out of the box and that felt really natural because it's sort of that traditional terminal emulator whereas this one just is a little bit different but i've heard really great things um and i do see the power you know like this whole thing where it went kind of rogue on me to be honest I went kind of rogue I do think that um I do think that's kind of nice right like the the ability to say like hey I want to do this thing um and and you know have it work I think that's pretty cool um let's try one more thing actually before I call it a video let's go ahead and say how can I uh revert my last commit let's see what that does I mean these are things that I always have to google or go to chat gpt I do think this is kind of cool to have integrated. Um, the user wants to know how to revert their last commit. Let me check. So what I don't like, what I don't like is how much is happening, right? Like I just asked this question, how can I revert my last commit? And then all these things happen kind of, it seems almost automatically. Um, it just feels like there's a lot going on. I do like that. It seems like it has these warnings that, it, you know, it could delete things. It's not going to hopefully run any of that without my, my input. Um, it does also allow you to toggle on off natural language detection. So if I toggle this off, you know, when I do this, uh, I'm assuming now I can do like, how should I push to main, you know, something silly, but it probably should. Okay, cool. Now it's, you know, traditional terminal saying that's not a recognized, you know, thing. So like if I were to do the, the, the same sort of command here, how should I push to main, you'll see it's going to have the same, uh, error, right? Because how is not a known executable and these would not be known you know parameters or inputs to that program so um i'm gonna be using warp a lot i i am committed to giving it a shot i do think it's really cool i'm really excited that's here i think they've done a great job with the marketing again let's go back up here this is such a cool idea the giveaway is great i do love that i didn't have to log in so i want to retract what i said before maybe i misremembered how it worked on my mac i thought that you had to sign up but here you can see the sign up is totally seems like optional. And even the the, um, the AI stuff just kind of works without it. Let's go ahead and check what the command palette looks like. This is cool looking command palette. Um, environment variables, what does this do? Ah, that's cool. I don't want to show you any of those even if I had any. So probably not the smartest thing to click on. But um, there's lots of stuff that I'm going to have to get used to. I guess the first thing I really want to know is can I even take these oh my posh themes and bring them over? For me, that might be a deal breaker just because I love Oh My Posh. I've contributed to that project before. and I think it's a great project. But um, anyways, really exciting stuff. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments. Let us know how to get better acquainted with Warp. 
and I will definitely be checking it out and trying to actually understand the power that it has to offer and sort of what my brain needs to be used to and uh, needs to explore in order to get the most out of warp. I think there's probably a lot of stuff hidden under the surface that I'm just not familiar with yet. But anyways, super exciting stuff. Hopefully one of us wins a computer. 